You know, there was a lot of excitement that got spread around when it was announced that Amazon had ordered the development of a God of War series. Uh, starting with, not going all the way back to the original game, but starting with the, not the most recent game, God of War Ragnarok, but the one previous to that, the one that won Game of the Year and, and things like that. A lot of excitement when that happened. Well, we haven't heard a lot about it since. Well, that was until this morning. Because according to Variety, God of War, the live action series, is now officially, the development is done. Amazon has officially ordered it to series. It's now official. Now, of course, a lot of times things go into development and many times they do not come out and actually get produced. This one now is. So Variety writes the following. The live action adaptation of PlayStation's hit video game franchise, God of War, has been ordered to series at Amazon Prime Video with Wheel of Time boss Rafe Judkins set to, to be the showrunner. Based on the massively popular 2018 video game, the show follows Kratos, the God of War, who after exiling himself from his blood-soaked past in ancient Greece, hangs up his weapons forever in the Norse realm of Midgard, per Amazon's description. When his beloved wife dies, Kratos Kratos sets off on a dangerous journey with his estranged son, Atreus, to spread her ashes from the highest peak in the realm, his wife's final wish. Kratos soon realizes that the journey is actually an epic quest in disguise, one which will test the bonds between father and son and force Kratos to battle new gods and monsters for the fate of the world. It's amazing. God of War Ragnarok. I was just watching a clip scene this morning. Mm. It's really weird that this came out after we got to the office. I was watching that clip scene from Ragnarok where Kratos and Freya are talking and they, she finally makes, she's trying to decide whether to forgive him or to kill him. And he says this, one of the best lines ever in a video game. He says to her because she's mad at him because he killed her son in the previous game to save her life, to save her life. She, he killed her son. So finally they kind of put it aside and he says to her, I do not regret saving your life and I never will. But the choice between life and death was yours, and I was wrong to take it from you. It's like, I'm watching this. Like, this is fucking Shakespeare. This is like some high-level shit. And the first game, the story, the narrative in it is absolutely fantastic. And the fact that it's now cleared that hurdle, ordered to series, I'm going to start counting down the days. Rob, you hear about it now. It's, it's the tangibilization. It's now got the green light. What do you think about God of War coming to live action? Well, you know, they've been... Uh, since we saw Uncharted and we saw the PlayStation Studios logo at the front of the movie this seemed like the next obvious thing to make they've been talking about this for a while i'm all for it dude now the big question is who's going to play kratos that is not going to be an easy thing nope Ew. nope i i, I can't john even travolta, we already saw the casting it's john travolta <laughs> john travolta <laughs> that's right i want ben stiller in the ben stiller thing i'd watch that <laughs> kratos doing his his thing okay chris what do you make of this I mean, I'm excited about it. However, I was not completely enamored with what PlayStation did with Uncharted, taking that to live action. Yeah. No. yeah. So I am trying my best to be cautiously optimistic. I think God of War, though, has a very, very different kind of story, obviously, that should make for a more mature, intense, emotional show than our kind of, you know, gallivanting across the globe uh, adventure series. So I think this could be really, really cool. It's just all going to come down to how they do it and who ends up <laughs> as our god here, because that's going to make or break the series. All right, I'm going to throw it a name because, look, Kratos doesn't actually have a whole ton of dialogue. Like, he doesn't have a lot of big, you know, uh, soliloquies, if you will, throughout it. So the physical presence of Kratos may have to be a little bit more taken into account here than the acting skill because you can, you can limit it, you can take care of it. Ray, I'm going to throw out a name. Triple H. I, I mean, look, again. I don't think he's buying. Triple H <laughs> is not a world-class thespian. But when you listen to the dialogue, it's very monotone most of the time. Boy. <laughs> you know, whatever. It's, it's very... I, again, even in the clips I was listening to this morning, it's like, okay, you know what? With the right director... I mean, that looks like him. With the right director... Yeah. With the right... Because look... James Gunn was able to take Dave Bautista and, you know, use him the right way, knew how to highlight his strengths, hide his weaknesses. Well, and Dave Bautista also decided to start taking a lot of acting classes, too. Right, but that was still in his Why early not Dave days. He's, he's gotten a lot better these mm -hmm. days, right? He's got a lot better. For sure. As that was going to be the second name I was going to bring up, was Dave Bautista. That's another name that you could throw in there. I, I think even today, H might be a little bigger, but... But whatever. I mean, Dave Bautista, because again, 
you can back away a little bit from the need to have a world-class thespian to lead, lead it because it's very limited. It's limiting in the performance that needs to be given. So I don't know. Uh, somebody in the AMN is saying Kevin Hart as Thor. I could, I could go for that one too, maybe. Anyway, guys, question is for you. <laughs> I love, I, if you have not there seen is, this man. commercial, by the way, if you have not seen this commercial with Ben Stiller and LeBron James and John Travolta in The God of War, you absolutely need to watch that commercial because it's awesome. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? God of War has been officially ordered to series. Who's going to play Kratos? I mean, that's that's going to be a huge part about this. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. It is the most festive time of the year and HelloFresh is here to help make the most of every moment. From holiday hosting to dinners during busy weeknights, you can count on HelloFresh to deliver fresh ingredients and seasonal recipes. Because tis the season for saving money wherever we can. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery store shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout. You can use those savings for holiday gifts or treat yourself. Guys, you know, I've told you before that with Anne and I both being working professionals, finding time to prepare dinner together can be a chore, but HelloFresh has made it easy and fun for us to make our own meals. And most importantly to me, they're delicious. You will actually enjoy making dinner. So right now, go to HelloFresh.com slash Campia18 and use the code Campia18 for 18 free meals plus free shipping. Once again, go to HelloFresh.com slash Campia18 and use the code Campia18 for 18 free meals plus free shipping.